Hello. Hey, Lou, big guy, how you doing? About the same. So, are you up for anything? You told me you were bored. How about putting a little excitement back in your life? Uh, look, Paul, I know you mean well, but I don't know. I mean, I told you these things haven't been right at home, but that doesn't mean... Oh, come on. From what you told me, she wouldn't even notice. Paul, that's not the point. I'm married. That does mean something to me. Of course it does. This doesn't affect your marriage. That's the beauty of it. Nobody ever has to know. It's your little secret, and it's free. Well, why do you want me on it anyway? If it's so free, what's the difference? Because you're a pal, that's why. You've been looking down lately. What else? Paul, I have to think about it. Well, don't think too long. You're not getting any younger. You should enjoy life now while you have it to enjoy. Well, whatever. I'll send you a link. Nobody can track it, you know, and it's free. Hello. Joe offered me some weekend work. It would involve me going to town on Saturday. What? Now you're not even going to be home on the weekend? You know we need the money. You didn't get the promotion, and the bills just keep coming. Yeah, I know. But we still have to live. I mean, I have to spend all my day here and... I'm sorry, Lou. We're doing the best we can. I mean, you're always tired when I get home. We never get to do anything. Do we need money that badly? Well, let's talk about it. Fine. Oh, what does he want? Just give it a try. What have you got to lose? Oh, uh, there's something right, right in over there. You live in Vegas, you're about 5'4", and you're into, okay, maybe not you. Cindy Nelson, you have a thing for water aerobics and games based on, um, okay, maybe not you. Maurice Jackson. Well, you seem a bit more down to earth. I guess I've got my Saturdays free for a while. Are you sure you want to do that? What? Well, I guess I need another co cup of coffee or something. Or something is right. I didn't do anything. Yet. Well, I wasn't going to. Then why are you here? Well, I just, I'm just a little curious. <laughs> Is that all? And what are you writing to Marcy for? What happens when she writes you back? Uh, okay, what's this about anyway? Oh, you think I hacked into your system and I'm watching you? Well, maybe. Now there's more going on here than tech stuff. Isn't there? Okay, I guess so. It's like this is a once in a lifetime moment. How about that? Once in a lifetime. As in one of those moments that change your life one way or the other? What kind of man are you? Well, I... Exactly. You see, right now no one can see you. You wouldn't do this at home, and you wouldn't do this in front of your boss, right? I guess I see your point, whoever you are. Well, the question is, what happens when someone else becomes involved? Are you sure you want to open that door? Think about it. It's still up to you. It's your life. Just make it a good one. Uh, screw this, Paul. Hi. Hey. Is that really you? Yes. I know I don't stop by the office, but you sounded a little lonely. Yeah, I guess I was. Mm. Anyway, I turned down the job. I hope you don't mind. You did? Yeah. You've been after me about the, the lake and stuff, and I thought we'd just spend some time. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, you know, traffic was murder coming over here. I've been waiting in the parking lot all this time, and um, I tried to drop by earlier. Well, I'm glad you did. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Forget that phone. <laughs>